Oh, you want to smell? I got a reason to smell right there. Two baby, beautiful reasons. Our very own Tracy Moore is a huge Sick Kids supporter. Her own little ones have needed Sick Kids, including a visit last May for a fractured limb for her sweet daughter, Eva. Tracy and Eva join us live this morning to tell us about the Sick Kids Because Someone Gave campaign. Hi, guys, and the importance of becoming a monthly donor. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Best site for sore eyes. Hi, Eva, all grown up. Hi. <laughs> Okay. Can you believe it, Dee? I mean, I remember talking when she was in utero and she had a kidney situation. And I remember you were crying for me yeah. because it was scary. So she's been going to sick kids since she was a baby for the first five years of her life. And it has always been a breeze. Yeah. And that's a big deal. No one wants a sick kid. Not an auntie, not an uncle, not a mom, not a dad. Uh, and last summer, we really sort of thought we were testing the system in the middle of COVID she had a break, a fracture, and we ended up at Sick Kids. And, uh, well, you can tell them more about that story. What happened, so, Eva? What happened? I was biking down the hill, um, but the grass was a little wet, so I fell off my bike, and then my thumb stayed on the handlebar, so I buckle fractured my thumb. Oh, and I saw, Trace, on your account, sweet little Eva, you had that cute little pink cast on, and then now <laughs> yeah. you're all good. So what was the care like for you when you were there at Sick Kids? It's world-class care. It is world-class care, and I have to say, I ignored her injury for a good four days until Grandma and Grandpa were like, there is something wrong with that thumb, girl. Yeah. But it was COVID, and I'm thinking, I don't want to tax the system anymore. Mm -hmm. Brush it off. You'll be fine. When we finally did go, I thought it was going to be, and I'll be honest with you, a lot scarier. It's the pandemic. The healthcare workers are being pushed to the brink. But what was it like? How were the nurses and doctors? The nurses and doctors were very, very nice, and they gave me really nice treatment. They let us take photos of the x-ray so we can remember it. They were super nice. Can we see it Joked now? Joked around with us. Can we see the after? Eva, hold up that thumb. Hold up that hand. Yeah, baby. Good as new, <laughs> just like that. So, T, I know fundraising looks so different in a pandemic. You can't do the door-to-doors like you used to do. So what is the Sick Kids Because Someone Gave campaign? How does it work? You hit the nail on the head. They can't go door to door sick kids. They can't be at the malls. They can't be at the airports because of COVID. They've got to keep it safe. But the problem is they are now hurting when it comes to fundraising. We cannot let a pandemic take us away from the best in class care that we're used to for our kids. And I'm talking anything from a buckle fracture to something way more serious. We need to have access and to support this treasure. Sick kids is a treasure. The fact that we're able to access that kind of support and that kind of health care uh, is amazing. So because someone gave is all about giving monthly, because someone gave, Eva was able to get world-class care last summer in the middle of a pandemic. And you can give as well. And if you give right now, before March 31st, your donation will be matched. Yay, that's huge. So it goes such a long yeah. way. You give a little and then they double it, essentially. So we get to help sweet peas like Eva and everybody else who's there. Love to everybody watching from Sick Kids right now, from all the kids to everybody on the front lines for all the great work you do so we can see that beautiful smile. And she's all healed up. And Tracy Moore, I am so looking forward to seeing you this Sunday for the Grammys. <laughs> it has been a year since I get to work with you in the flesh and not just virtually. And Eva, I can't wait to see you again. I know you're getting you know, off to school soon. Do you love being back in class, Eva? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, she's so cute. She, love likes the social, she loves the social interaction. And I just wanted to mention, if you do donate before March 31st, your donation is matched, but for a year. I should put that out there, okay. for a year. So before so because March 31st, us, head on yeah. over. Your donations, as Tracy said, will be matched for the year. That's incredible. Yes. For more information, because someone gave dot ca thank you both great to see you eva i can't believe it she's she's so grown up t she's, she's big she was just in my belly and what we were happening? talking about her and now she's here and she's oh my mom gosh, listen i cannot wait for sunday girl same eva this is where we all dance you love it when you see mommy dance right you're like my mom's the coolest or no rolls her eyes yeah there it is i love it that's when you know we're doing something right t Keep doing it. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Good to see you both. Have a great day. And love to Sid and Leo, too. And, of course, the doggy, Ozzy. Right now, we're throwing things Aww. over to Steph. Good morning, Steph. How sweet is that? Good morning, Tracy and Eva. Eva, Eva's is. face is like, please stop, stop. Mom. Stop. <laughs> it's like you're please embarrassing stop. me. You're embarrassing me. But you guys are so adorable. So nice to see you, Trace. So nice to see you, Eva.